You may get weekly warnings on your phone about how much screen time you had each week, but is too much screen time bad for your health? Our Verify team explains. We have seen the warnings. Too much screen time can lead to migraines. But is that true for every migraine sufferer? To get the facts, we went to Dr. Megan Donnelly, lead neurologist for Novon Health, Dr. Ahmad Estamalik, headache specialist for the Cleveland Clinic and the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic describes a migraine as a headache that is accompanied by severe throbbing pain or pulsing sensation in your head. By definition, to be considered migraine, somebody has to have had at least five attacks in their life. Those attacks can include nausea, vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. But can too much screen time cause that? Screen time alone is not going to cause a migraine in somebody who wasn't really supposed to have one anyway. Dr. Donnelly says it can be a trigger for people who are sensitive to light and have experienced migraines in the past. If there's somebody who already is uh, predispositioned to having migraine, they run in the family, they've had them previously, screen time can play a role for some patients. The time of day can also play a role in migraines that are triggered by screen time. So if somebody is looking at the screen and it's during regular hours, they might do better. But if they're looking at the screen at all hours of the night, that can uh, worsen the frequency of migraine as well. Really minimize uh, screen time, phone time, especially in the in, in in the one to two hours before you know someone goes to sleep. I think that will make a tremendous difference. Dr. Donnelly says other triggers like stress, whether too much or too little sleep, can also kick off a migraine. So getting a migraine from too much screen time really depends on the individual's triggers. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg.